Today we geek out about Animal Kingdom solo playthrough. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lee with Geek City USA here, and today we are going to play through a game of Animal Kingdoms. This is the latest game by Steven Aramini, and it is put out by Galactic Raptor Games. It's actually on Kickstarter right now. I have a prototype here that I've been graced with some time to, uh, to review, and I figured I would use this for my solo Saturday this week. So uh, the game is on Kickstarter right now, and I just figured I'd give you guys a run through. I've had a lot of fun playing it, so I figured maybe somebody else wants to get a, a vibe of how the solo game plays. Now, in this game, we are uh, we have houses. We're, we're basically trying to command the kingdoms. There are five different kingdoms here, and we're just trying to gain the most points in the grand scheme of things. Um, every kingdom has their own uh, specific directive of what you have to do to play. For example, here, all different ranks and beasts, one to eight, no scoring. I have a card here just because I was making sure that I could get all of the uh, video in the shot. I really don't know what this is, but just to prove that I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle it anyway. So just a quick shuffle. So I am going to be white and the, uh, the autom automation player or what have you, the AI is going to be this fancy purple color here and we are going to play. Now this plays really the same as a multiplayer game. The only real difference being I'm going to play a card to one of these areas. I have to, you know, stick to all of these directives. Now they are going to, I will flip the top card here. There will be one card face up. So you see here like this is the three with a feather, the owl. Uh, what they'll do is they're going to draw a card off the top and that will indicate what kingdom they play in. This is four, five, six, seven, or eight. And that coincides with the number of locations that you can play at. Uh, now, so if they draw a five, they're going to play their card here. They don't have to stick to the directives. They kind of get to cheat on that. Um, but then if this card here uh, matches, this is one of their bonus cards, if it matches either the suit or the rank of the card they just played, they actually get to place that card as well. And they follow the, the suit and rank um, you know, rules for that as well. Now, if they draw a one, two, or three, they play exactly where I just played, which uh, definitely makes this game interesting because a lot of times, you know, obviously I'm going for the most points, so I'm going to try to, you know, look for the areas like here, this one, you know, that has a potential for having a 10, so I might want to get this area, but then, you know, one, twos, or threes, there's a pretty good percentage of a one, two, and three. So uh, you'll kind of see as the game goes. And hopefully, uh, I play this a handful of times solo. Um, there may be some little nuances that we'll experience together, uh, some audibles we might have to call, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead here and get started. So I'm going to look at all my locations here. And um, there's a lot, I find a lot of strategy with this game when I play it with other people because you're playing the player as much as you are playing the game and what each kingdom's requirements are. Um, but in this case of playing the AI, it's a little more mathy and I, I tend to get in my own head where I get fixated on an area. So um, definitely feel free to chime in with, hey idiot, you should have done it differently last time when you played this. So, you know, call me out if you see me uh, do something that, you know, <laughs> might have not been the ideal play. It's totally fine. Um, I really enjoy this game. So it's a lot of fun. It's a good solo, um, you know, time spend, a good, good brain burn. So anyway, these are my cards. I'm playing with these four cards and I'm going to start and uh, I'll kind of talk through my strategy as I'm playing. I'm not really interested in this one in the beginning because it's a five to score. I really want to go for the higher points. So all different ranks and beasts. Uh, I'm going to start by playing, this I need a one to eight, so I'm gonna hold on to my one. Uh, either neighbor's rank or beast, even ranks, odd ranks. Oh, that's a pretty good mix. I'm gonna start by placing this here. And this gives me uh, all different ranks and beasts, so I'm good. I'll put that there. And hopefully I remember to actually draw up. Uh, I find sometimes I forget and I have to go back because I want the card that was due to me next. So, all right, so now the robot player is going to draw and they drew a three. Now, like I said, one, two, or three, they play exactly where I played. So they're going to play right here as well and they would put a purple cube. Now, their bonus card is a three as well, so it matches this, so they actually get to take another action. So that really, uh, that really stung. So now they have the majority in this location, and the only way to get the next majority is to close it off in the capital. So, not really excited about that. We're not starting off the way I had hoped to. Uh, but let's see here, um, let's go either neighbor's rank or beast. So I can go with whatever I want here, 
um, because there's nothing on the neighbors. So I'm gonna play that three there and I will put my cube mark in that territory and the robot player is going to draw one. So they're once again going to follow me where I go. And this does not match the suit or the rank, so I'm okay there. So now it's back to me. Um, let's go here, one to eight, no skipping. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because I actually have a one. So it might be rare later on in the game. Well, let's, let's do that while I can. And the robot player draws a six. So four, five, six, they're going to play right there. Even ranks. So that actually, that actually matched what it should have been. So that's kind of nice. Uh, what do I want to do here? I've got five, six, seven, and three. I'm not going to be able to play here. I don't want to play here because I don't want to withdraw for the round. Um, hmm. Let's go here to the even ranks. They got something there. Let's try to balance the number of cubes. So the robot player is going to draw a two, which again, they are going to do what I'm doing. Little cheaters. Now I have to put all the cards facing the same way because I'm just kind of I'm picky like that. So it's a, a two little raccoon guy. This is a five little I don't know what animal that is. I'm not very <laughs> good with some of my animals. A eh, little thing, Egyptian looking thing. Uh, okay, so it's back around to uh, oh I got to play a cube for them. Hopefully with all my talking and commentary on this, I'm actually following through and placing cubes as appropriate. So. Uh, there's nothing here yet, all different ranks, one to eight. So let's do odd ranks. Uh, let's place the five owl right there. Put one of my cubes and I will draw up. And the robot player draws a five. So four or five, they're gonna play right there. And they're gonna put one of their cubes. Now, this matches, this is the same, um, same rank. So they would play this and it's going to go there as well. Not exactly what I want to do or what I want them to do. Uh, I feel like the AI is getting the upper hand a little bit. Um, either neighbors rank or beast. Let's throw one here. Now see this one's upside down for me. I like to keep all my cards going the same way. What can I say? I can go there. See, that matches the rank of that one. Uh, and then the AI has an eight. So they are going to play right here. Even though it says odd ranks, they don't have to adhere to these rules. And then that's a one, doesn't match the rank or the beast. Now, there, when I play this, um, because, see here where we have a one to eight. If you notice, the AI player has placed two fives here. Um, the way I play this, because it needs to be one to eight in order, I just call, I consider these wild. So this would be a one, a wild, and a wild. So one, two, three. So the next in line would be a four. Um, but down to my turn, speaking of, I will actually play this four here. And I will put my little cubie guy there. Boom. Now the AI is going to pull a three, which means they're going to play, okay, so th this three, they would play where I'm at. Well, the AI is not going to claim a capital forcing them to withdraw. So they would go to the next clockwise one. So they would play there. Now the other placement rules for them is if they have two or more cubes over what I have there, they would skip that location as well. So like right here where I have two purple, or where there's, like if they were to place here right now, they would skip this location because they're already two cubes over me. Um, their bonus card doesn't do anything. And we're playing, let me say two, uh, we're playing the normal difficulty. There's a harder and there's harder levels and easier levels as well. Some involve uh, no bonus card, others involve multiple. So a lot of, a good way to mix the game for more of a challenge. So let's go back to me. Uh, I kind of want to catch up there. Even ranks, I'm gonna put my six right here. Boom, because now I can at least hope to tie there at the end of the game, maybe. And they are going to draw a six. So four, five, six. So they would place here, but they won't because they're not gonna they're not gonna withdraw. So they will place here. 
Let's just put our little guy right there. And that matches. So this one here, this is a one, but it matches the same suit. So they're going to mirror my play, which was over here at the even ranks. But again, they're not going to play there, so it's going to come over to here. And uh, let's move these cubes, make a little more room. And let's just hope that I remember my play as I'm blathering on here. Okay, so we're starting to fill up pretty good. Um, this is tied. They've got the majority. They've got the majority. They've got the majority. Let's go for some odd ranks then, huh? So I will play my card there. And I will draw up. And let's see what they're going to do too. So they're going to copy me. Why wouldn't they? Boom. And then, of course, this card matches exactly uh, what they just played. And it's a one. So it's going to go where I played as well. This first round is not going my way. All right, so there's our new bonus card, an eight. So what do we want to do here? Um, odd ranks and either neighbor's rank or beast is what we're looking at, unless I want to close something out. Um, I feel like it'd be kind of silly to close out if I can try to get more points on the board. So either neighbor's rank or beast, we have a one and a six where the last one's played. I can't match either rank, either beast, so I'm going to have to play at the odd ranks. So I will play my seven here. And I'll put my cube, I will draw up. Uh, and they are going to play once again exactly where I drew. Ah. And this eight doesn't match, so we're good. Now it's up to me. Either neighbor's rank or beast, I can actually play this right here and get in good. At least tie that area up. Now, no matter where they go now, everything's full. They're going to end up withdrawing. So they play a two, which means they would play where I'm at or where I just played. And they actually close that off. So they're done. Now it's up to me. But, um, you know, I... <laughs> What do I want to do here? So I have three, they have four, so they've got it there. It's tied. I feel like I want to go here because I want to at least get one of my guys up there in the council. All different ranks and beasts. Um, I can play this one. So I'm going to play this right here. And I will draw up. And that plates my guy there. And then we're done. So now we're going to have to battle. So, and, and battling is pretty cool. When you have a tie, uh, if, if you watched my rules playthrough, there's kind of like a war element. When you have a tie, you're going to play a card from your hand, and your opponent's going to play a card, and whoever has the highest is obviously going to win, except the number one meet, beats the number eight. So it's like a, you know, a cyclical uh, number value deal. Uh, but when you play against the, uh, the robot player, you're going to draw three cards, and you have to beat all three cards. So, and I'm going to keep my handy-dandy rule sheet out, because there is something that winning the battle and losing the battle, you draw up your cards differently, and I always get them confused. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play my eight. We're tied here. So now we are going to, let me just make sure, we are going to draw three cards, and we have to make sure they don't beat me. So they, here, so we can get that on camera. So I drew an eight, they drew a four, a two, and a four. Yes, so I won. So I get the seven points on here. So I'm the one who actually gets to score that. And the AI player coming in second is going to get three points. So I'm just gonna discard this right now. No sense in cluttering up the screen here. Uh, and then what I do is if I won the battle, I discard my battle cards, but I don't draw up any new cards. So I'm still going off of the three cards that I have left. Um, had I lost, I would get to discard my battles card, I would get to draw back up. And then the robot would draw one less. So these are the discards, I'm just gonna set them there. So I'm actually going to move my guy up into the council and I will redistribute these cubes now. And then we'll go over to here. Again, it's tied, so I'm going to play my four. And now they are going to draw up three cards. We have an eight, so they're going to win. An eight, a two, and an eight. So the AI player definitely wins that. So the AI player is going to get the five points there. 
so three, so they're at eight, and I get three, so I go up to 10. And then I am going to, let's see, I get to uh, draw an equal number of new cards. So I actually get to draw one new card. And they're going to draw one card less. So I just had a little visitor come by. Come here. Come here. See, say hi. Hi. See, there's, there's always, uh, you never know what's going to happen when you're doing a recording, right? Do you have fun today? See, this is, this is my gaming buddy right here. She is the one, all the time, she wants to play games. Isn't that right? New, yeah, new games that I, new games that my dad tells me, I win. <laughs> she does it. What's your favorite game to play? Um, lanterns. Lanterns. Oh, that's exciting. Well, give me a kiss. What were you, you were drinking something red. Or were you eating something red? Drinking. Oh, yeah? All right. So say bye to everybody. Say see you next time. All right, vamanos, young mamas. No. Go on. Always an interesting time here. Uh, <laughs> she's my buddy. All right, so what, what did we do? We scored that, I think. I'm pretty sure we did. All right, so let's put these back and then we will go over here. Uh, that makes me smile. I love when she comes down. She always wants to play games. It's really cool. She, she loves lanterns. She loves... Uh, Castle Panic, all this other stuff. She really likes this one. She sat down and helped us play this when we were playing it um, at uh, over the holidays with my in-laws. Um, she got a kick out of it as well. She was able to figure out how to play. So that was actually her. You didn't see her standing off to the corner going, play, can I play? So anyway, okay, so here we go. Uh, purple has the majority there. So the AI player is going to get five. Uh, so two, three, four, five. I'm going to get three. So it is tied, and then we will go here. Uh, there's four to three. The AI player moves up into the council. They get six points. So they're gonna go from 13 to 19, and I'm gonna go from 13 to 16. All right. And then this one here, they have four, I have three. So the AI player is gonna get five, so 19 to 24, and I'll get three, so 16 to 19. And that is the end of the first age. We play a total of three ages. So you kinda of get to see what the setup looks like here. Cause we're gonna shuffle all of the cards and pull them together. And again, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the start, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, this is a prototype copy. So the final version is going to be different. This will be like a, a hard board and everything. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's a really cool deluxe version that has animal meeples, which uh, they look awesome. So I'm really looking forward to playing the final version of this game. Like I said, I, this, is, this one has been a real surprise as far as um, solo games go because it's such a, it's like a, a it's a good solitary game. It just feels good. I don't know. So here's going to be my four cards. And then we are going to put that there. That is the bonus card for the robot player. And we have to clear all our decrees. And then we will draw some new decrees. And I always, whenever I load the board, I start at four and work my way around. So let's see. We have any other kingdom's beast. Oops. We have... One of those four, we have all different beasts. This is a very beast-centric one, huh? Uh, this one is plus or minus one. So it's gotta be plus or minus the one before. And then equal or higher than the highest neighbor. Okay, so let's get this party started. So again, eight and eight, I wanna try these quickest. Uh, so I'm going to start and I'm going to place my eight right here at the four. I want to ensure myself a victory and I really want to get this 10 at the end of the game. That would be my goal. So I'll refill myself there and they draw a seven. So this is area seven. They're going to put their cube right there. And back around to us. Any other kingdoms beasts? So now I have to match that. I can't. Mm. All different beasts. Let's just play. We'll play this one right there. And we'll draw it up there. And they draw one. Always, always copying me. 
All right, so what am I going to do next? Um, I'm going to play here again at the All Different Beasts. Why not? Let's, let's do that while we can. And the AI is going to go to five, so they're going to go right here and put their little QB cube. And that doesn't match there, so we're good. Um, hmm. We have, I'm going to play this one here. Any other Kingdom's Beast, because they got all these little lizards there. And this pretty much doesn't cement me for the, the 10 at the end of the game, but it's at least going to get me, I've at least won majority of this one because I get to count that one brick there in the, in the council. And then they are going to go in four. So even though it doesn't match, matching would be they play where I am, but they drew the four, which is also where I played last. So they will play there. That doesn't match. So, um, hmm. So this is plus minus one. I can't make that. All different beasts. I could go there, I think. Yeah, yeah, because that's... Let's put this Mr. Raccoon over here. I'll flip that guy. And the AI is going to go to five. So purple is just going to claim the crud out of this area. And that doesn't match, so we're good. Um, all different beasts. We are going to go here again. Why? Because. And we've pretty much guaranteed that one for ourselves. I like our odds here. I really do. All right. Uh, seven. So this guy's going to go right here again. Purple likes this little quadrant. And then, oh, we're good. Getting out of hand here. I'm going to start drawing a bunch of stuff. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? Equal to or higher than the highest neighbor, which is seven. So I cannot play here. I don't want to play there. I don't want to play here because both of those, that would force me to withdraw. I could play here. That's what I'll do. Let's play this guy there. Boom. Draw up. And then the AI is going to go four. So they won't cause themselves to withdraw. So they go clockwise and they're going to go there. Those don't match, so we're good. Okay. Um, hmm. Equal to or higher than the highest neighbor. So I need to be seven or an eight. So I am going to, boy. Um, I could lock down this one and put my guy, maybe I'll do that. There's a lot of stuff I can gain here though. I'd be giving up points here and here. So let me rally. Now, rallying, I get to take a point. I'm just going to discard all my cards. Rallying is not spelled out in the solo rules. I don't believe you can't rally in the solo game. Um, I just, when the AI follows, I have them rally as well. Right, wrong, or different, which I, I should probably get clarification on. Um, the AI player is going to draw a seven. Seven, seven, seven. Now, when you rally, you don't have to get rid of all your cards. You can get rid of like one or two of them if you wanted to, but that doesn't match. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, plus or minus, so it need to be a six or an eight. Equal to or higher than the highest neighbor which is seven, so it'd have to be seven or eight. So I could play eight. I'm gonna play this eight right here, right here. We'll do that. All right, and the AI is going to go to one, so they're gonna follow me. Leave me alone, man, let me do my own thing. Uh, equal to or higher, so I can't go here now. Oh, I should have played this eight over here. That is what I should have done. What are you gonna do? I'm not going to take it back. If I wasn't recording this, I would totally take it back. But I didn't, so um, equal to or higher than. So this has to be, well, dang, I can't do anything. And I'm not going to waste and, and withdraw by placing here. Hmm, although, 
I could go here and I could lock this down and at least force, I'd have two for the final to get those 10 points. Hmm, those nine points are looking pretty good too. But I'm missing out here and I'm missing out here. I'm gonna rally again. Myself one point. One, two, three, four new cards. These cards are good quality, nice linen fi finish. I hope that the final version is at least as good as this because these are really good. <laughs> I'm definitely a fan of these cards, uh, withstand a lot. Okay, so now the AI player is going to do an eight, so they would play there. And that eight, those don't match. Um, so plus minus one, we are going to play this one here. We're gonna play that six. Now we at least have something everywhere, so I feel like we're at least getting some points. All right, six, which is four, five, six right here, but they're not gonna play there, they'll play here. And then they get to play again because this matches the same number, so that'll go there as well. Oh, actually, hold on, pause, pause. This one, let's take this back real quick. This six, they wouldn't have played here because they would have gotten, so they would have went to play here, four, five, six. They can't because they're not gonna close that off. They wouldn't play here because they already have the majority. So they would actually go over to here and this would have been placed here. One, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the one I just placed, right? Yes, bear with me here. So this would go here, and then this matches, so they would play this on a six, which is four, five, six, would move to here, they have the majority, would move to here, they have the majority, so we would go all the way around, and they're gonna play here then. And that's gonna go there. Ah, oh, man, not looking good. All right, so equal to or higher than the highest neighbor, which would be a six. I'm at a seven, I'm gonna play this seven here because I don't see myself being able to win that. So I'm gonna play that seven. I still have a chance here. Draw up a two. The AI is going to go to three, so they're gonna follow me and they're gonna go there. All right, now it's my turn. So I don't know if I wanna mess around here anymore. I think I just want to close off and guarantee myself some points by getting pushed into the council. Where, which council do I want? This one would guarantee me the 10, more or less, in the next round. Um, but you know what? I think I'm going to go here. Uh, all different beasts. Do I have a beast I could play there? Yes. I could play this guy here. Boom, I have withdrawn. And you also, when you play this solo, you don't use these withdraw tokens. These here are only when you play with other players. All right, so that's my turn. I'll draw up and then the AI player is going to go three. So they will follow me, which they can't go here. So they would go the next in order. Boom. Um, six, no good, so they'll draw again. The reason I didn't go to this next one is because this already excels, so they go in circle, whatever. And they're going to draw another six, four, five, six, skip, go here, and they're going to place there. Now let's score the second age here. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay here. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Um, I've got three, and they have one. So I am going to get eight points. So I'm gonna go from 21 to 29 and they'll get three, 27. Clear those, get rid of that. Uh, here, AI has three, I have one. So the robot gets six. So they're gonna go 27 to 33 and I'm gonna get three, so 32. I'm losing, I'm losing the game. But here we go, I get to move up there. I have a majority. I will get the eight and they will get the three. So I will go from 32 to 40 and they will go from 33 to 36. One thing I really like the way this game works, when you set out these um, first place tokens, you put them from the lowest value to the highest. 
Uh, and the reason I like that is as the game goes on and you start, you know, getting seats on the council and having that majority or that cube that counts for the majority later on, that those big points at the end really help to swing the game. So in, in the beginning, it's, it's more of a fight to get in at places. And then by the end game, it's, you know, how do, do you want to block your opponent? Do you, all these little interest, intricacies come into play. Um, but the point swings are so high, it usually keeps the games really tight as opposed to somebody running away with the game. I definitely like that. Um, so here we go. They're going to move up there. Um, they get the majority in this little area here. So they're going to get seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I get three. It's now a tied game. But it's going to be difficult for me to take majority in this in the next round. And finally here, they have majority. I don't even have a chance at majority, so they get 6. So 49 to 46. And that ends the second age. So now let's shuffle all this stuff up. We'll go on to the third age. Now, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm giving commentary as I play. Um, when I play this on my own, I can breeze through, um, how long is, we've been recording for like half an hour, it's about-ish, This the video. So usually, um, I could probably have, I'd probably be about done with the round by then, unless I'm really thinking, if I'm getting real AP on my own, um, I, I, don't, I don't usually get AP, so um, yeah, I, I could usually get through a game pretty quick when I play So you know, 20, 25 minutes. All right, so yeah, let's get the decrees for the last round. I should have really live streamed this because I love to say, hey, what do you guys think of the game so far? So we got equal to or lower than the lowest neighbor. We have same rank or beast. Rawr. No other kingdoms rank. Whoo, that's going to get rough as it goes on. Four or five and all different ranks. So... Ones like this, no other kingdoms rank. Um, when I play with other people, even when I play against the AI, I try to focus on that because that gets really difficult, excuse me, really difficult to do as the game goes on. So uh, let me figure this one out here. Let's start the third age. We're losing, but I feel good about it. I feel good because we have this 10 here. All right, so was this filled up? Was I supposed to move my guy? No, no, because I went off over here. All right, anyway. Uh, no other kingdoms rank. We are going to play this two right there. Put that guy there. We're going to try for those nine points. And we're going to flip this card and it's a five. So that busy bee is going to go there. And that doesn't match that, so we're okay. So we're going to go here. No other kingdoms rank, so we can play this two without a problem. I almost gave it a purple cube. Would have been a bad day. And AI with a two, so they're gonna follow. Hey, copycat. No biggie. We're looking okay there so far. Um, I am going to play here again. I'm just gonna knock this one out right away. So go there, draw up. The AI is gonna go to eight. Ooh, all different ranks, okay. At four, they're okay. Hmm, what do we do? Do we keep plowing ahead there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, one. So we're gonna have majority here because I've got three cubes plus one is four. I don't have to worry about that one anymore. Makes me happy. So let's let's look elsewhere. Um, same rank or beast. So I can't play any, I've got a bunch of sixes. Six doesn't do me any good, sixes and eights. Uh, equal to or lower than the lowest neighbor, so five or less, I can't play here. I could play here at all different ranks, and fours or fives. So really, this is all I can play, all different ranks. So I'm going to put a six here, drop my cube, draw up. Yay, another six, and a four. So they're going to play there. Ooh, I need to get in here. Oh, and that matches. Oh, so they get to play this one again. Four. I might lose out on those 10 points that I thought I was going to get. No! I have to put at least one more there. Um, equal to or lowest 
the lower than the lowest neighbor. So I still can't play here. I can't play here. I don't want to play here. Fours or fives, I can't play here in all different ranks. I can't play here. <laughs> hmm. No other kingdoms rank. So I can't play sixes. I can't play eights. So I'm going to have to... So I'm going to rally. So I'm going to get rid of these three cards here. I'm done with sixes. I don't want any more sixes. I will take three more cards. One, two, three. I kept that eight because I want the eight. Oh, same beast. Oh, no. Not a lot of variety with the beast. And I go up a point there. They are going to draw five and go right there. Okay. So let's think this through. Same rank or beast. So I can play here now. Uh, I can also play over here with fours or fives. Equal to or lower than the lowest neighbor. Equal to or lower than. So I'm going to play a five right here. I need to get in here. I need to make this happen. All right, then the AI is going to draw a four. And there, and, ooh, they're not, yes. Uh, here, But here they already have a two brick advantage. So they're going to go over here. Boom. That doesn't match, we're okay. So back to me. Now I could go here and guarantee I get these 10 points, but I would be wasting the rest of the game. Uh, same rank or beast, five. I thought I played here, I guess I didn't. I'm gonna play a five there. I swore I played here. Well, maybe I went crazy. Okay, the AI is going to play a four. Not going to do it there. They'll do it there. So I think I've officially lost this one. That doesn't match. So we're good. Um, fours or fives. Let's start building out this one. Here's a four here. Bingo, bango. And the robot's going to go to seven, which is here. It's going to mess with me. Keep it, keep it normal. That doesn't match. Okay, so four or five I can do. All different ranks. I could do this. Eight, six, so let's do a let's do a one here. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Jenny, I got your number. All right, then the AI is gonna go five four five. Not gonna do it there. Keep rotating. No no. Technically, they have a two brick advantage here, so they would go to here. And then this matches, and we'll play the same game around, and that'll go there as well. That uh, that escalated quickly. Ah, hmm. So let's see here. All different ranks. Eight, six, one, five. I could put a three there. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a three stir right there. I mean, that's for nine points after all. AI's got a three, so they're gonna copy me. Why wouldn't they? Ooh. Unless I go for this one and then battle at the end. If I go here to withdraw and then we battle at the end, I might get that. Whew. I think I'd rather be sure I get the 10. All right, so let's think this through. I can play here four or five, I got a four. Let's put a four over here. And I'll draw up um, a, a whopping one. He's got a one, they're gonna copy me. And over to me. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth playing this game anymore. If I go here, I want to go here, all different ranks. Uh, 186, 186. So I can't play here. I could play here and close this off. I could play here. Wouldn't do me any good because I wouldn't get the majority. I've already got the majority here. No other kingdoms rank. I couldn't play that. Hmm. Four or five. I'm going to rally. Let's get rid of all this. Uh, I'm going to keep the one. Just in case I want to play there. Because I would like to get this um, no other ranks one. Because at least then I have a chance. You know, I'm going to get rid of this one also. I'm just going to throw that card all over the board. Oh, that was up there, wasn't it? Wasn't it? No. Okay. 
one, two, three, four. So I got a seven, a seven, a one, and a three. And they copied me, so they would go there, but they can't. So they'll go there, but they can't, they can't, they can't. They will go here. And that doesn't match. Okay. Um, all different ranks. We're going to drop a seven right here. As much as it pains me to drop a seven on it, I'm going to play there. And I have officially withdrawn. And I got an eight. Ha! <laughs> And the AI is going to go to three, which is going to copy me. So they're going to come here. And that stinks. Because they're just going to go in order now, even if it means withdraw, because I've withdrawn. And they're going to go there. Oh, so they got the majority for the 10. Okay, so let's total our scores. That's, uh, that's the end of the third age. So here we go. That can go up there. They, it doesn't matter. They have three. I have two. I can't count. No, that's right. They have three. I have two. So they get 10 points, and I get a whopping three. Like I said, how quickly it escalates. Uh, hmm. I don't have good luck when I play solo games uh, on the channel. Okay, then we go over here. They've got the majority, so they're going to get eight. So we're going to go from 59 to 67, and I'll go up to 54. Ugh. Uh, no other kingdoms. Oh, it doesn't matter. I've got I've got the majority here, so I'm gonna get nine, and they're gonna get three. Could I do it? Could I still do it? I'm not looking ahead, so I don't really know. Uh, no, they get <laughs> they have the majority by a long shot there, so they're gonna get the seven. So they're gonna go to seventy-seven. I'm gonna go to sixty-six. News like a fool. And then I kind of stop cleaning it off as I go. I guess I really don't need to clean it off. But it's just how I like to play. And then here, so technically, so they're going to win. But let's see. Um, it's four to four. I would play this eight to defeat them. We'll draw a three for the robot player. Six, an eight, and a one. That one defeated me. So the robot player would have won the nine points there. Taking them from to 86, and I would have went from 66, 69. So that's the uh, that's the end score. We've got 86 to 69, and I usually have a really good percent percentile chance of winning this game. I I feel anyway. I feel like I've done very well at it. Uh, apparently not today. So there we go. Chalk one up in the L column for us this week. Yeah, what can you do? But anyway, this is Animal Kingdoms. Once again, Galactic Raptor Games and Steven Aramini. It is on Kickstarter right now. I would definitely recommend you check the game out. It's a lot of fun. Completely accessible by everybody we've played with. You know, there's enough strategy you can see as it's kind of puzzly. Um, but it's light in, the, in that it's one of those games that when you're not in the mood to really play something heavy, you can just sit down and throw it out. And it just, it's, you don't get too, you know... You don't, you don't feel brain dead as you're playing it. You know, it's not like you're killing yourself over it, but there's enough strategy that you can get a little deeper into the strategic thinking. So I really like this game so far. Everybody we've played it with has enjoyed it. Our kids like it. So I would definitely recommend go checking it out. So anyway, once again, Animal Kingdoms, thanks for checking us out and hanging out with us. Uh, be sure to comment and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications. Check us out. It helps us out, kind of bumps us up in the algorithm and... Uh, I don't know, puts us in front of more people. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and check us out on social media. Uh, we're on Instagram and Twitter. We've got a Facebook page. Um, we're always putting stuff up there on the Instagrams. Um, Robin is usually really good at keeping that going. So anyway, look us up there, and uh, we'd love to interact with you. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with us. Cheers.